Welcome, this is the grade 8 math practice test for TN Ready. Currently, this is question number 14. An ice cream cone is 12 centimeters tall and has a radius of 4 centimeters. And they actually provided a nice drawing here, whatever. It's like an upside down dunce cap. Which measure is closest to the volume in cubic centimeters of the ice cream cone? So this is, based on what they're asking for, a volume question. Now, volume is pretty nice, I think. Generally speaking, we use the formula volume equals base times height. And this is big base. It's, it just means area of the base. In the old days, we used to call this big baby base when I was doing it. Big baby base. Now, what does that represent? So say you're filling up a glass. You really just fill up the bottom over and over and over again because you fill up the bottom and then you fill up the bottom again because it becomes the new bottom. And then you fill up the bottom and fill up the bottom and fill up the bottom until you get to the top of your cylinder. So essentially you're filling up this piece and then filling it up, 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 filling it up until you're all the way to the top. And you're going to lie to yourself and pretend this is all full. The height represents how many times you have to fill it up on top of itself in order to get from one end to the other. So in a cylinder, the base shape is on top and the bottom. Now, this is not a ba uh, this is not a cylinder this is a cone so it's got a pointy end the only thing you really have to remember for the pointy end is that it is one third the volume of and i'm going to write ss here that same size cylinder that is not an official math abbreviation so i guess i should write same size so if the size of the cylinder here was also radius of four, then I could fill it all the way up and I would take three of these to fill up this thing. In fact, I think somewhere on my YouTube channel I have a video where I do show that that's true. But you should know that one third of the volume in the pointy end versus three thirds of volume in the cylinder. So since this is a pointy end, I'm gonna adjust this formula to one third big baby base times height. Now let's take a look at what height and big baby base are. The height of the figure, it just tells us, is 12 centimeters. So that's easy peasy. One third goes here. Big baby base, I have to think like, well, what's the base shape? It's a circle, right? So what's the formula for a circle for area? Because we're finding big baby base is the area of that base. Area of a circle is pi r squared. I used to teach my uh, four-year-old that, so he would always have it if he needed it. And r, in this case, is 4. So pi 4 squared, or if you'd really write it, you'd write it 16 pi in the front, whatever. Now, the nice thing about this version of the test is its calculator section. I can use my calculator for this, so I will. I'm going to do one third, and depending on your calculator, you can handle it any way you want. So I've got that times pi, so 3.14, we'll just use that, times 4 squared, which I know 4 squared is 16, so I'm just going to move past that part of it, times 12. So what I typed in for this, by the way, is 1 third times pi times 16 times 12. And I ended up with 200.96. But you may say, well, that doesn't match. What are you doing? Um, sometimes the fact that I rounded down doesn't help me. Um, I used instead of using the full value of pi, I just used 3.14, which may have cost me a little bit. But if you look at the answers, it's very close to one of them. So I'm not going to worry about it too much because they've rounded here instead. So this six would knock this nine up to a zero, and then this would go up to a one. So I would end up with 201.0, but 201.1 seems like a reasonable facsimile of what that answer should be, right? So that's it. When you do volume, Remember the formula, volume equals big baby base, which is area of the base, times height. If you have a pointy end, you also have to multiply it by one-third in order to adjust for reality, and then you should get to your final answer. And that works regardless of what the shape itself is. If it was a rectangle, your big baby base formula would be length times width. If it was, you know, a regular polygon, you do area equals one-half apothem times perimeter. That would be your shape that you would use for big baby base. And then you just do the height and then times one third if it's pointy, not times one third if it's not.